Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And Olight, as I mentioned in other videos, really seems to have pushed forth into kind of a lifestyle brand. Uh, and one of the things then that's a natural evolution is to be able to carry other things that fit that lifestyle, but maybe are not made by your home company, which is Olight. And so they started the O or the Obi store. And uh, I got a package from the Obi store, uh, kind of testing out how it's working. Um, this is how it arrived very fast. Right now they've got storefronts, online storefronts in both or for both the United States and Germany. That seems to be the, the main extent. And what it's really doing is pushing the outdoor EDC space well beyond the traditional Olight product line, which is kind of interesting. And they're highlighting high quality goods made in China, which um, you know, I've, we've, I've, I've had videos about that, but here's an example of something. This is my favorite coat. It's an Arc'teryx insulated Gore-Tex Pro. It's got Avalanche Beacon Ricos in it. Uh, and if you look really close right up here, it says that it is made in China. Sorry about that. Made in China. Right there. It's a Canadian company. It's a coat that you know what? I got it a few years ago. It was about 800 bucks back then. I don't know what they are now, if they're even available. But, you know, there's a lot of high quality gear from almost all high quality companies made in China. Now, there are some, uh, some strict U.S. manufacturers, um, but they usually have a niche, very small, like a... Um, Maybe a tent made of Gore-Tex or something like that. It used to be Bibbler, Black Diamond Bottom. I think they're overseas now anyway. But I wanted to point out this. These are the two items that they sent me. Now, I was, I was thrilled because when I did the video on this uh, Olight um, O-Tackle 2, this is a large version. You know, a lot of people mentioned, well, it's too large to throw on a key ring. Yeah, I was excited because it does have some pretty solid... Uh, prying capabilities, but this is the smaller one. Um, you still have bottle opener, kind of a nail puller, little wedge here. Um, I assume you can use, if I took out the paracord, I, I don't know what that is, like a five millimeter or maybe um, hex uh, clip here, titanium. Mainly you use these things for, you know, prying and bottle opening, although I have, this is sharp enough that I was able to actually use this um, to slice open some things. But this is the O-Tackle 2 Mini, the smaller titanium version. I mean, just the workmanship, that they, they, they put in effort to, you know, kind of like anodize the, the uh, cuts into the titanium. This is not easy to do. I mean, you need the equipment. So it's a, it's a big investment um, if you want to kind of make the, the fancy EDC stuff. I enjoy the experience. You know, that's, that's part of my EDC. I don't need to have something. It's I want to have that something. I want to carry it. I want to find uses for it. Um, this here uh, is the Tactical Geek Block E2 EDC case. That's kind of a mouthful. It's about 40 bucks, not on sale. And obviously the Obi store is going to have their big Black Friday sale. Um, uses the Hypalon Molly right now, which is kind of all the rage. Um, very strong stuff, allows a few more possibilities than just the traditional Molly. Um, it is a uh, kind of a full featured EDC case as far as having uh, multiple layers of the elastic housing, pockets, um, no internal zip pocket, but lots of pouches there. And it does use a YKK zipper here. Um, got a patch area so I could throw something on there. And um, Hypalon on the back and a carry strap. Feels pretty dang solid. I haven't um, you know, run it through its paces yet. I just got it and there's sales coming up. Um, but overall, um, looking at the stitching, looking at the, uh, you know, at the, the quality uh, indicators in products like this, um, I think it's right in there. I do think though that, well, that wasn't too loud, that as you look at what Olight is doing with their kind of lifestyle camping outdoor stuff they're really pushing a narrative um, you know that I see very similar to what REI does of get outside start doing things but I do notice a big sit or a, a larger city focus uh, with Olights or with the Obi store um, there's a lot of things that 
um, our maybe more campground backyard area than you know mountain climbing even though they've got a lot of pictures but it's interesting to see uh, some of these products that they're bringing bringing to light because many times we're looking for very specific things or whether to fill a niche or um, you know to, to build a particular kit um, you know for those of us that, that, that run around in this space um, so anyway I thought I'd bring that to your attention point you towards the store if you haven't seen it uh, thank them for sending me these to to use I, I do I love these little pry bars um, I'm glad they're pushing the limits um, not cheap but um, fun more functional than many and uh, you know I never even heard of tactical geek but uh, compared to I've done things with max Edition and right in the rain and spec ops and um, 511 uh, it's right in there so it is an option and with that doc out